So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and I just got in the package a bunch of new AirPod Pro and AirPod accessories. So obviously if this video gets to 250 likes we'll give one of these items away and without further ado let's talk about the AirPods Pro and some of the cool accessories that have come out over the last year. Let's get into it. So let's obviously start with the AirPods Pro. There's no real variant to AirPods Pro. They're pretty much, you have them or you don't. And I ordered the AirPods Pro when they originally came out. I think it was in November of 2019 when they first came out. So it's been, it's been a little over a year now. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below of when the AirPods Pro actually came out, but, but they've worked wonders. I've never had any issues with them. These are the first real headphones that I've had that are categorized as active noise canceling and I don't think I could ever go back to a regular headphone. I've, I do have a pair of headphones that are supposed to be kinda nice, but they, they aren't noise canceling. They don't have the plugs in the ear, like the silicon tips, and they just sound tinny, right? They sound like the old AirPods, so I can't really go back from the AirPods Pro to anything else unless it's active noise canceling, but, but overall my experience with the AirPods Pro, I'd give it like a nine and a half out of 10. The only reason I ever had issues is when Apple brought in that spatial audio and the auto switching between the devices, Kind of messed up my AirPods Pro experience, but that was more of a software issue with Mac OS and iPad OS than it was with the actual AirPods Pro. But this is an accessories video, so this isn't really gonna be a review of the AirPods Pro. I'm gonna talk about some of the accessories that I've used on a daily basis over my span of 12, 14 months with this device. So the first accessory we're gonna talk about is actually these foam tips. So these foam tips are by a company called Chargen Pro, but they make a bunch of Apple accessories and they do have a cool iPad one, which I wanna get my hands on so badly and I will very soon, so stay tuned. But they sent over all of their foam tips and their wing tips for their AirPods Pro. So one of the great things about having foam tips is that it actually forms to your ear and you can kind of feel it the second you touch it and you start actually putting them onto the AirPods Pro themselves. They have a nice little squishy feel that again, forms to your ear and it gives you a nice little seal and a better seal than silicon tips would. One of the cons of having foam tips is that you do actually have to replace them every so often, but with these you do get about four to six months before you really need to replace them and you'll start to feel it because the seal, it starts to kind of get a little harder and it isn't gonna seal as nicely, but again, they're gonna last you four to six months, no problem. And then they also sent over their wing tips and their wing tips are definitely cool, especially if you're a runner and the AirPods Pro don't fit in your ear that well, even with the different size foam tips and silicon tips. But the one thing that's kind of an issue with this is that you do need to A, take off either the foam or the silicon tip before putting this on. And then if you wanna put them back in the case, you have to remove them all. So it's kind of a process with these, but if you're a committed runner and you're running two hours a day, three hours a day, and you need your headphones to stay in, then for you, this is awesome. But for me, I kind of avoid those wing tips because A, I don't really run, and B, it's kind of a hassle to kind of take them off every single time I wanna put them in the case. So that was the first upgrade that I made. We went from the silicon tips to the foam tips. And then for the case itself, and you guys have seen this because I've had this in a bunch of my videos in the past, I have a case on my AirPods Pro. I have a case for my AirPods Pro case. I know only in today's world will I have a case for a case. But this one's by Pitaka. I really like it because A, it's super thin. It's one of the thinner ones that I've seen. And it's not made of like rubber. It's made out of that nice air mid fiber material that they use. And it stays on. I haven't had a single issue of them falling off breaking, falling apart, like it's all kind of stays there together and it stays there perfectly because you, as you can see on the bottom one, there's a couple of rubber stoppers that help it stay on there. And then on the top part that you put on the actual hood of the AirPods Pro case, there's actually a long strip of like sticky adhesive, which A, it doesn't affect the actual AirPods Pro case and B, keeps it on there as you guys can see with my super scientific test. And it does come with a little hook so you can, you know, put it on a belt clip, on a backpack or just put it in your pocket. But and I just like having cases because it protects it from scuffs and scratches, from drops, and it just makes it look nicer because it gets rid of that all white look, which Apple refuses to give us the all black look for some reason. But hey, to each their own. And then in terms of charging the device, I have two Satechi products that you can use each of them on their own. But the first one is a power brick that has a built-in Apple Watch charger. And you can use this on its own because it does have a built-in wireless charger on top of the actual device. But what I'd like to do is actually bring my separate wireless charger, which is a USB-C wireless charger for the AirPods Pro and regular AirPods, and to kind of just slap it onto that power bank, drop the AirPods Pro on that charger, and let it go to town, let it charge up real quick for me. But those are the main accessories that I have. So we upgraded the foam tips, we upgraded the case a little bit, we figured out a way to charge it on the go as quickly as possible. So overall, AirPods Pro and these accessories have been awesome. And I did want to show off the black pods that I have. They're these mini, AirPod like replicas and they're actually really nice. Yes, they sound a little tinny, 
but they're not super expensive. I think they're like 40 bucks and they look and feel freaking amazing. Like the soft matte touch feel on the actual AirPods case or the, you know, the black pods case is awesome. Like Apple should definitely do that. And I know Apple would do a more premium version of that, which would be amazing. And same on the, on the actual pods themselves, that same texture is on there. So if you guys do want to check out some cheaper AirPod alternatives, by all means, check out black pods. I actually do like them. If you guys are looking for something that's just going to give you sound, if you guys are just big into audiobooks and podcasts, you're not gonna get any bass out of them. It's gonna sound a little bit tinny, but for the price, it's hard to beat. And for the look alone, it's hard to beat. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit different, but leave a comment below. Do you guys have any accessories for your AirPods Pro? Which AirPods do you have? Do you have the Pro? Do you have the regular? Let me know in the comments below, or do you just rock it all totally naked? But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.